Hello everyone and welcome back. We're here today to show you the iTech BS400 bandsaw. This monster of a machine has got a two horsepower motor, 390 millimeters max width of cut. You've got a 270 millimeters max cut depth. You've got an auto release switch for your brakes so it's easy to track your blade. You can tilt the table to 20 degrees for CE regulations. You've got the option for a miter fence, a kick stop and a wheel kit. And there's a whole lot more to show you. So let's just fire her up and show you how it works. So on this side of the machine, you can see you've got your control panel. Down here, you've got your main isolator for the main power supply. You've got your start and stop buttons, the all important emergency stop button, and you have your brake release switch here, which is used for tracking your blade. And make sure that's off when you fire the machine up. So now we're gonna show you setting up the blade ready to run. You've got these two dials on the side of the bandsaw here, so you can open up both of the doors. And as you can see here, you've got nice cast iron wheels, which are easily tensioned, easily tracked. Down here, you've got your guide, which shows you for what width bandsaw blade you have, where the tension needs to be set. And that can be done just with this hand wheel down here. So you tighten that up until the dial shows you, you are where you need to be for your width bandsaw blade. And then we need to go around the back of the machine here. As you can see, you've got your quick release handle, quick blade changing. So all you need to do is pull this handle. And you can see the blade becomes slack. That makes it easy for you to change the blade. And to do that, all you need to do is release the stopper here. And your blade can come out through the groove you can put your new one on. So here you also have your tracking dial for the top wheel. This helps keep your blade in the center of its travel on the wheel so it doesn't fall off. And then on this side here, you've got the release for the guard, which can be wound up and down depending on the thickness of your timber. And then down here, you've got your handle to move your bandsaw guides back and forward dependent on the width of your bandsaw blade. So underneath the table here you can see you've got your angle gauge for your table. You just release it, you use the socket that comes with the machine, wind it up to 20 degrees, lock the table off, then you're ready to set up your rip fence which is easy, just undoing this handle here. Then you have your scale, set the rip fence to the correct width that you wanna cut your timber. And lock it off, then we're ready to fire it up and cut some wood. So now I'm done working on smaller pieces. First thing I'm gonna do is undo these Allen keys, front and back. I can then slide the rib fence out, stand it upright. And tighten it in its new position. That way I can work on a larger piece of stock. Okay, so now I'm gonna raise the guard up so that 
we can get the rip vents closer to the blade so we can cut a nice thin slice off of our piece of stock. And now I'm just gonna set the rib fence to the width that I want to finish up at. And then I'm good to start the machine up and cut it. And now we're going to do one of the best things that a bandsaw can be used for is just for cutting weird and wonderful shapes. Well, there you have it, that's the iTech BS400 bandsaw. We've shown you a variety of different cuts that this little machine is useful for. We also have different models, which are the BS500 and the BS600, which are available in three phase for your larger workshops and your more robust work. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. You're more than welcome to pop in for a demonstration or use our email address, which is all below.